What can I help you with? I've got a gold coin I think you might be interested in. It's from 1880. It's uh, from Newfoundland. The $2 Newfoundland was the only gold coin that circulated in Canada at the time. Two bucks was a lot of money back then. Yeah, two bucks was a lot of money back then. Even Canadian bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today. I was going to try and sell my uh, 1882 Newfoundland gold coin. There's no other Canadian gold coin from that era. I'd like to sell for seven grand if I could, but minimum, minimum at three grand. Like, there's no way I'm letting any go less than three grand. Where did you get this? It came up for auction near where I live. It's a small town, and I figured this is a pretty high-end gold coin, so I ended up getting it from. All right. Uh, do you know much about it? It's rare. There's only 2,500 of them minted. It's probably one of the rarest circulating gold coins in North America. Well, it's an AU55, and it's done by PCGS, so there's really no arguing it. They're sort of like the gold standard. Yeah. AU means almost uncirculated. And there's a weird numbering system from 1 to 70. It's pretty high. I mean, it's a pretty good coin, right? It's all right. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not uncirculated. Yeah, know? but it's 130 years old. Yeah, I mean, we can go all day long. You can say yeah. good things about it. I can say bad <laughs> things about it. You know, it's just <laughs> part of the game, right? <laughs> Newfoundland didn't become a Canadian province until the 1940s. So in 1880, when this coin was minted, it was still a British colony. And a rare coin from a colony that no longer exists is a thing collectors love. One of the problems with it is it's a Canadian gold coin. Yeah, but and the market's you know, a lot smaller. Collectors are collectors, right? I mean, you know, like it doesn't have to be a Canadian that wants this. Somebody wants a rare gold coin. Well, in general, you know, Canadian collectors collect Canadian coins. Yeah. And just about everyone collects U.S. coin. It's just a smaller market. If that was a U.S. gold coin, that thing would be worth like 30 grand or more, right? Uh, if it was a U.S. gold coin, it would probably be worth a lot more than that. Yeah, right. <laughs> so what do you want to do with it? I hope and sell it. What were you looking to get out of it? I don't know, seven grand? Ooh. <laughs> what? Come on. Seven grand's not going to happen. You tell uh, me. I'm thinking closer to 2,500. No. Go away. 2,500, can't do that, no way. If you go to go look at a book, I guarantee a book's gonna say like, what, 4,500? Yeah, I just looked at Canadian coin news before I, I came here, and there's one coming up for auction, exact same grade, they estimated at five grand. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you want like 2,000 more than the estimate of the other coin? <laughs> this guy's definitely playing hardball. There's no question, I want the coin, but there's no way I'm gonna lose my shirt on it. I'm thinking I'll give you three grand for it. I mean, there's like 125 bucks worth of gold there. Yeah, but this is a rare coin. This is a showpiece for you guys. Come on. It's rare, but it's not. It's super... rare. It's the rarest circulating gold coin in North America. How about 3,500? Three grand. 3,100. All right, 3,100. All right. All right. Cool. Thanks. All right, let's go do some paperwork. All right. Yeah, I sold the coin for 3100 Yeah, I would have liked to get a little more, but I sold it for more than what I got into it, so I'm pretty pleased. Maybe I'll go double it on the strip somewhere, do a little gambling. 